Good morning, guys. Welcome to Cheeky Talk Thursday. Oh, I, I'm trying to do this up, leaning down so much so you don't get to see my jowls and my double chin. I brought my other tea, one of one of my other tiki mugs. I was gonna drink coffee out of this one, but it started ticking when I put the hot stuff in it, and I thought this is from post-war Japan. Perhaps not the best thing to drink hot liquids out of. I seriously doubt that it is uh, dishwasher safe. Anyway, one of my tiki mugs. It's the thing. I don't know. I love, I love um, the Kitsch 19, I guess it was 1960s, late 50s, early 60s. Tiki stuff is, I would love to have a whole tiki room. That would be awesome. I need to build a green screen, build myself a tiki, tiki bar behind me because I can't have one in my house. I mean, I could, but it would be odd. Speaking of odd, um, I was looking around the information superhighway at um, just coming trends for spring and uh, flipping through, you know, as, as one does. And I started noticing something that, that I have I have realized before, certainly with fashion and uh, makeup is part of the fashion industry. And uh, they're doing some things where the, they have the blush and, and you do, sorry when I stutter, you do put blush or you can, depending on your shape, shape face, your face shape, put your blush in a, a C like this so that you're putting it basically from, you know, below the color part of your eye, up and around. You want to put a little in here and up through here just to to give a nice look. And you also, you can put your blush in here to give your eye makeup somewhere to go. Anyway, when you do that, <laughs> in general, when you're going out in public, you're doing it in a very subtle method. You're, you're putting it on to, to look like you, but better. And they were taking bright coral or a deep red and blocking it on. If I can, if I can get this done in time, I'll, I'll try and add some pictures in to show you what I mean. And then they're saying, oh, you know, in a, in a bold eye color, and you know I'm not afraid of color. <laughs> and, and I certainly have done it, but they were doing these these stripes of electric green yellow just sort of bam across your your whole eye and that was it and one of the things that it's an industry fashion is an industry makeup is an industry and we love it but they are an industry and they are constantly trying to think of something new and honestly I don't think there's anything new under the sun. You know, there, there really isn't. Um, it, it's, it's fun to try, but it's like haute couture. It's not really intended for people to go out and wear. If you like it and you can wear it. My daughter does the blush thing and she also puts the blush on the, the end of her nose, which to me always looks like you have a cold or allergies, but um, it, it's cute on, on, on maybe on young people. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, if you are confident wearing something and you go out and present yourself to the world in a specific way, you can usually get away with something extreme or more extreme. However, if you are trying to wear something because it is in fashion and you are uncomfortable wearing it, you're going to look like you're uncomfortable wearing it, which is going to make it look awkward. This is again entirely my opinion. You know, um, I, I, I am not in many ways a great follower of fashion, although in other ways I am, but I wear what I am comfortable wearing, and that goes for makeup as well as, um, as, well as fashion. Uh, if I am pulling constantly at an article of clothing 
then I know I'm not comfortable wearing it. And uh, that means I probably will throw it in the, the bag to go to uh, uh, Goodwill. They don't call it Goodwill anymore. I don't think it even exists. Does it exist? It still exists. Um, I remember when it was called Crippled Civilians. <laughs> um, to a thrift store. Uh, and I do try and, I try and, I shop almost exclusively secondhand, not necessarily for makeup, but for clothing, almost exclusively secondhand. And I do try and recycle everything that I have. So I do send it all back to, um, to the thrift store, which is wonderful because you can change your entire wardrobe and not, not break the bank and not add to, you know, the problems in the world with consumerism. I can't remember how many liters of water it takes to make a t-shirt. I'm pretty sure that you can find that on, who does that? Is that, I don't know who does it anymore. It might be, it might actually be Value Village, which would be savers in the US, talks about that. But it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting thing to look at, how much, when we consume new and we don't we don't really think about the consequences many of us don't think about the consequences because we live in north america and we certainly have well unless you live in flint <laughs> access to clean water um don't buy bottled water you're paying more for bottled water than you pay for gas if you buy bottled water you may not complain about the, the cost of gas Bottled water is a lifestyle. It is not uh, better for you, unless you live in a place like Flint, if you have real problems with your water. Uh, if that's true, buy yourself a filter. Don't buy one that says it's gonna make your water more or less acidic, because all that does is make a really mild form of bleach. And if anybody is unsure of that, I am happy to link you to a video from a chemist friend of mine who will explain that those filters just make really mild bleach. Please don't do that. You cannot change the acidity level of your body, which is a good thing, because if you changed it more than 0.07%, you'd die. Um, sorry, minor rant, but um, yeah, I'm very much about, for me personally, trying not to be sucked in by the parts of advertising that I know are there just to to get you to spend more money. And I spend too much money as it is. I am in no way saying people shouldn't spend money because obviously you have to. But this whole, you know, makeup for spring, like you don't have stuff in a palette that, if you have the peach palette or a palette that is kind of like the peach palette, you're probably covered for spring for the next 10 years unless you use it every day. I don't find that I go through uh, powdered product very quickly. I have had uh, face powders that have lasted for years, for five years, four years, a long time. So it's not like, we don't have to change everything up in every season. Like you can, you can, not, not in the world we live in today. I mean, you can wear jeans uh, all year round. You can wear dresses and skirts all year round. They're, you know, this white after Labor Day and I very specific ideas like that. I, I don't think they're necessary anymore. And all I'm saying in my long and rambly arsed way is um, don't, don't feel, try not to feel pressured to follow a specific fashion trend if you don't enjoy it. And that goes for anybody of any age. It's like being told women of a certain age should only wear, you know, their hair at a certain length. Like there's this whole thing about after, I don't even know what age anymore. You should cut your hair short. Maybe. Maybe you should, maybe that's not flattering on you. Maybe you need to, maybe your hair is thinning and you have to cut it short so that you have, you know, a certain amount of volume so that it covers up. Of course you could just, you could also wear wigs, but wigs are hot and uncomfortable. 
They're not my favorite thing. And I have had to wear them. Um, yeah, so be confident in who you are because as all the beauty divas say, you are beautiful and you are in your own way. And beauty is not your passport to live in the world. It's not the price we pay to live in the world. You don't owe anybody pretty. You don't have to be pretty. You just have to be you. Be strong. A rambly ass video, sorry, went on probably way too long and it probably went in 94 directions, but that's Tiki Talk Thursday. <laughs> it's kind of like it's my 5 a.m. morning brain fart. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am hoping to still be around next week. I do have to go up north. I have my mother in town because my brother is going through some fairly serious surgery. He has uh, an aortic aneurysm that needs to be repaired. He's okay. Like, you wouldn't know what to say him. But, um, so he's, uh, I have to go up north to, uh, to be there for that. So I may be not as active as I have been, but I will be back and I will let you know how everything goes. And maybe I'll do a video from beautiful Owen Sound, Sound, Sound. I hated Owen Sound. I hated growing up there. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it all this way, good on you. You're an awesome human being and you can use the magic word Finkelstein. Which I'm expecting no one to use. Uh, <laughs> but if you have stayed here this long, please consider subscribing. There's a button. I think it's over here. It might be over here. I don't know. I do the worst outros. That's my thing. I can't do an outro to save my freaking so life. So if you want to leave uh, a comment in the comment section, which is down there, uh, let me know how you feel about the whole changing your look for each uh, season. I mean, it's fun, but do you need to go out and buy more stuff or are you good just, you know, mixing it up? I'd love to know everybody's opinion. Thank you. Uh, if you are already a subscriber and you've stayed this long, thank you so much. You guys know I love you because I tell you all the time. And uh, demanding to be seen as beautiful after 30 <laughs> is a revolutionary act. Thank you. See ya. So if if you want to rock it and you can I think but what are you trying to say? <laughs>